What's up folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some Peter Gabriel again. We're going back to the 1977 album, sometimes called One, sometimes called Car. And the next track in the playlist is Excuse Me, which is an interesting phrase for a song title because that phrase appears in different contexts and while they're often about social graces or lack thereof, they do have notably different renderings, which is to say there's the simple I need to get by, excuse me, can I just, can I just get that, thanks. Then there's the excuse me like, oh, excuse me, I didn't realize, I, I asked that question unthinkingly and didn't realize the context, I apologize, excuse me. And then there's the taking umbrage that like someone says something that to you registers as inappropriate or otherwise problematic, you're like, excuse me? So, I mean, and there are more renderings, I would say, but even just those, I feel like they're he definitely heading in different directions, even if the, the way we interact with other people and the nuances of that, which as you get older, you begin to understand more and more, but you never become an expert. You don't have all the answers, which is the name of another tune I reacted to this evening. But yeah, I do find it a very intriguing starting point for the song. Let's see what I can catch on a first listen. This is Peter Gabriel. The track is Excuse Me, and it's from his 1977 album, which is once again called, alternatively, One or Car. <laughs> started to reacting to some very early David Bowie and there's there's some elements that I've heard in the handful of tunes there that make me have similar thoughts here which is to say there's a 
quirky comedic playfulness to this one there's drawing on some different styles again that opening which apparently was sort of a just an appetizer just a prelude to the actual song but that had this barbershop quartet feel and again there was some country vibe and a little bit of the guitar work even some island guitar type of sound in the background um, there was almost this Randy Newman guy at a keyboard kind of telling you a story type of feel. Like, it just had these different flavors that, and again, when I'm new to an artist, which, you know, I've gone through some Peter Gabriel now, but we're still talking a very small selection of his material. So, when I'm new to an artist, my brain tends to reach out and try to draw parallels and make associations. So, again, over time, perhaps that will become less of a thing. But early on, it's like, wait, it reminded me of that, and it sort of reminded me of this. So, um, I had that experience here. And again, there clear, clearly was intentionally some comedy here, and even some of the lines themselves that, like, you know, you got your money back, and who needs a Cadillac? It's just, it's funny. Like, it's genuinely cleverly written although also some lines that are a bit more ooh that's a bit profound like you're standing on my memories like you know you can't i can't get my memories out from under you like i can't they're they are immobilized by you and it's you know there's a i think a bit of a profound um layer to some of the thoughts so either way uh i'll have to listen to it again i look forward to hearing people's comments but a fun quirky ride and one that has me again guessing exactly what we're going to hear on this album, which as a debut album, it's insane. I've only heard a few tunes, and I feel like, you know, something like Salisbury Hill, and then you have um, a crazy tune like this, and I'm trying to remember, what was the one that started it, which was like, holy smokes, people even mentioned. I have to look at the track list, I apologize. Um, oh yeah, Moribund the, Bur the Burgermeister, which <laughs> I appreciate those who help me understand the phrase and the source of that uh, phrase, but... Yeah, the opening four tunes on this, they do some different things and, you know, very engagingly in all respects. So, looking forward to the rest of the album. Once again, shout out to Phil for making this and so much else available. And to the other folks like Han Solo who are involved in, um, you know, I got Shaking the Tree from him and so on. So, you guys are all awesome. Let me know what you think of the tune. I will see you next time. Peace.